Loki season two was phenomenal, man. Like the way they sent off Loki when he went into God mode was amazing. He had an amazing send off and I don't even think he's gone forever. I think Loki will definitely come back. He will definitely come back, but it's going to be a while before he does come back. You see what I'm saying? Like, he'll come back, but I think it'll be a while. And at first, when he was pulling all the timelines together, I just seen Miss Marvel. So when he was pulling, or the Marvels, but when he was pulling all the timelines together, I thought he was going to make it one. And I was like, oh, we about to get the X-Man. Because if you've seen the Marvels, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And make sure you check out my review of the Marvels, too, if you're watching this. You know, it wasn't as good as Loki season two because it's just, you know, the characters ain't as legendary to me. You know, you do got Miss Marvel, but the other characters ain't as legendary. But I'll get into that on the review on this. It left me off thinking, OK, what is going to happen with the Kane characters? Because they do have an opening to kind of step away from Kane. I hope they don't, because Jonathan Majors did a great job this entire season with season two. And when Loki went back and seen He Who Remains, that was probably the first time. No, actually, the second time. The first time was when Loki season one, when they first went to see Who Who Remains. He Who Remains. Every time they go see he who remains, I go, okay, yeah, this the Kang I want to see because he is a bad boy. When him and Loki was going back and forth, stopping time and pausing time, I'm like, oh, yeah, these dudes is on another level. And when Loki showed him, like, no, I could pause time too. I've been here before. I done did this before. And he who remains was like, oh, oh, so you do understand. Okay, let's have a conversation. When they had this conversation, I just was like, man, these are two bad boys. And I'm thinking, yo, if Loki know how to control time like this, he basically like Doctor Strange on steroids. He's going to really be in God mode. But they they put him in God mode and then took him away from us at the end for at least a while. They took him away from us. And who will we get? Sylvie. Oh, my God, dog. I can't believe... Like, when I really think about it, they took Loki away, and they kept Sylvie. I do not like her, man. Like, she really ruined it all. I thought she was going to mess it up to where it become one universe, then we start getting the X-Man and Fantastic Four. I'm sure they're going to work all of them in, but they probably start bringing them in after the Kang Dynasty. And that's what made Marvel so great. They got, like so many characters that's what make them a little different from dc to me dc got so many characters but it seemed like dc always only focus on like they top big guys marvel got people like me invested into the characters they didn't gave us but i'm invested into the x-man we ain't seen them yet i like fantastic four we ain't seen them yet like it's so many different people that we haven't seen yet in marvel in my mind, like, yo, they got so much to get to, even though they knocked some big ones out the way. Iron Man, Captain America, they talking about bringing them back. Hopefully they do. But um, yeah, man, I can't wait to see more of Kane. Like, I really hope they stick with that direction. I know Jonathan Mays is going through something, but stick with that. Give us more Kane. Now, the other things that I've noticed in this season uh, that I really liked, and in this last episode, was how Loki just was so determined, man. Like, he just would not give up. Watching this last episode, I'm like, yo, Loki, obviously Victor Timely ain't strong enough to walk out there. You need to be doing it, you know? Like, I knew that at the beginning. Like, dude, you need to walk out there. And finally, he does that. It still don't work. But he just keep on and keep on going. The only thing that I think he did wrong was... He should have just knocked off Sylvie. Like, come on, man. Just knock her off. That's all he had to do. But you know what she really made me mad at? He goes to talk to Mobius. Mobius give him a great speech. Let him know, hey, it's about the bigger picture. He tells him that. Yo, 
It's about the bigger picture. Loki hears that. He's crying. He's like, man, I, I, I got to make a decision. I know what decision I got to make. So Loki knows now. He's like, yo, I know what decision I got to make. He go to say his goodbye, so what I thought, to Sylvie. And she's just like, yo, end it all. <laughs> yo, <laughs> let people live their life and make their own decisions. Forget it. You know what I'm saying? But she did spark an idea in Loki, but it's just how she was acting. I'm like, yo, what? All of this is because of you. It's all because of you. So don't just uh, end it all. Let people fight to to see if they can survive. Like, no, don't do that. You know, and then I think after this, all the Kings, if they continue in this direction, since the loom is gone, because they kept talking about the loom and how it stops the wars from happening with the Kings, since that is gone now, I think the Kings will start to rise up. And you can see that the TVA is keeping track of all of the variants, you know. And they didn't take Victor Timely and make him into somebody at TVA. They let him just be a kid and live his life. I like what they did with Rensselaer, sent her off to the world where she can be by herself. You know, I like that. I think she's going to get out of that, though. But hopefully, when the Canes do start fighting, the superheroes be a little bit more prepared and somebody at the TVA can start telling them to get them prepared. Because when the Kings come, the, the stronger ones, man, they all going to be in trouble. Like, like for real. Like, I really got for, for this card. If one of them Kings could get to the He Who Remains level, oh, they going to be like... <sighs> unstoppable loki gonna have to get out that chair to stop to stop one of those type of games man but uh yeah man this was a great season real real great season i love how they ended it i love how loki got his ending scene you know it felt like a movie you know watching this last one so salute to them they got it right i just can't wait for them to bring all the multiverse together and we start getting all these characters and they you know, actually fighting each other, man. But yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. Looking forward to seeing Obi. Looking forward to seeing Mobius some more. And looking forward to Loki coming back and seeing all the Kane variants actually start doing the fight now, man. If this your first time here, make sure you sub to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. And like always, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.